Hi everyone, my name is John Andrews, Social and Digital Media Manager for Redport Information Assurance. Just a quick little screencast for you guys that will cover 10 of the many signs that your computer might have a virus. So without hesitation, we'll jump right in. Number one is that you may notice your computer is being really slow. Now this is usually the first thing that happens a lot of the times, but people never really pay attention to it because they simply think that it may be that the computer is just outdated or it might be a hardware or storage problem. In some cases, yes, it could be that you're trying to run a program that handles a lot of RAM and simply just does not have enough room to handle that. Number two is that when you click on an icon and or your uh, software applications, for instance, uh, they do not respond correctly. For instance, let's say you launch your internet browser, but then it immediately starts to appear all wonky or duplicates the windows and they start to appear after one another. Uh, maybe it even shuts down. This may be a sign that you have a virus. The third is when you notice your system is rebooting, freezing, or crashing for no reason at all. Obviously this is a problem because your computer just doesn't reboot or freeze for no reason. And this may be a problem and a virus may be present. The fourth is that your antivirus security program and or firewall is suddenly disabled. A lot of common viruses take place on a Windows machine and antiviruses such as McAfee or Norton are great. But if they suddenly become penetrated or the firewall suddenly turns off, then this might want to be of a concern. Number five is that you possibly may not be able to access your disk drive or hard disks. Uh, some viruses actually target your hard drive accessibility and set a lock on being able to reopen it. If this is the case, then a virus might be the reason. The sixth is minor and sometimes overlooked, but that is you are suddenly unable to print. If you have your computer hooked up to a printer and then suddenly can't print something, again, like the hard disk targeting, targeting a virus can do this. Uh, the seventh is most common, and this is simply a pop-up window literally notifying you of your computer being at risk. This may be broadcasted by your antivirus system or your browser, but in some cases, the window cannot be closed and you know can become a big problem in the end. Number eight is closely associated with the previous one, but that is you start getting pop-ups like crazy from your internet browser. A lot of browsers now have pop-up blockers, but viruses nowadays are powerful enough to bypass these and can cause a major headache. The ninth is being unable to download an antivirus program or any other software after the fact you've been infected by a virus. Pretty self-explanatory here. And last but not least is uh, your... Your program icons and logos are suddenly missing. Uh, it still says that your Mozilla Firefox, for instance, that is downloaded, but the colorful icon there on the bottom is suddenly gone and or the folder to this download is missing. Uh, and that could be so closely associated with having a virus. Uh, but those were just 10 quick ways to realize if your computer might be infected by a virus or not. Uh, keep in mind these are only signs, not actual reasons. So if your printer suddenly goes out on you one day, don't freak out and think you have a virus. Just assess the issue and take care of it and take it to somebody who knows what they're doing, who can diagnose the problem without harming your computer. Uh, but that's all in this screencast. Be sure to check out our website at www.redport-ia.com where we offer quality information assurance and computer security as well as checking out our social media at facebook.com slash redport and following us on Twitter at redport underscore IA. Thanks and have a great day.